In this video, I'm going to show you how to make edits with the brush tool so that you can edit specific areas. So in our tools bar on the right, the brush tool is this tool that looks like a more traditional brush. And that's keyed to quick button B. Here we go. There we go. To quick button B. So when we click that and open it, it looks much like the general edits, except it has this little information at the top where it's add a new brush edit section because we can do multiple kinds of edits in different areas. And we can toggle between working with the brush or working with the eraser. Right now, I'm going to start working with the brush. And underneath that, we can adjust the size. And you can kind of see that scrolling this left and right will um, adjust the size. We can also adjust the size with the right and left bracket keys. That very cleanly um, allows us to do that while we're working. We can also click this down arrow uh, so we can see more options. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so that we can see that we can adjust the feather, so how blurry the edge is or how sharp the edge is. We can also adjust the flow and the density, which affect how much um, of the edit is happening at one time and how closely together that edit is happening. I keep those at 100 for the most part, um, but as you get uh, more advanced, you'll be able to know how much you need to change to get the effects that you want. I always keep a little bit of a feather so we have like a more soft diffused edge instead of having it look like super sharp like I was drawing with a like a permanent marker over things. But it'll depend on what kind of edits you're trying to make. And then underneath that is all of our usual edits that we're aware of. So I think I'm going to I'm going to change the temperature and the tint. I want to give it a kind of like a more bluish green color. And wherever I edit, I think I want to up the contrast. So I'm going to zoom out and you can see that it looks like a little bit of a brush. And as I click and drag over a section, notice how it changes it. And that was actually pretty mild, but we can see that our original edit started there. And as I hover over the edit anchor, we can see all the area that is in red that's showing us what, uh, what areas were affected. So if I zoom in a little bit more, you can kind of see that I got some of that blue here and some of that here. And if I hover over the cursor, we can see that uh, it's telling us that exact same story. So maybe I don't want to affect the entire area. So something that you can do is back over here, you can toggle over to the eraser. And we can edit the eraser in the same sort of way. But as we use this eraser, and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, I can erase from the things that were being edited. So I can return more of that natural color and have less of that blue overflow onto this. And that looks a lot better. As if I look back on it, we can see that I've removed a lot of that blue by kind of just like clicking and dragging because I had a lot of um, a lot of feathered area in that. And that feels a little bit more controlled. But say I want to kind of build up or I want to do a different color. Notice that if I come back over here and I'm going to put my brush back on and I try to, you know what, maybe I want to add something to this figure over here, that that's still also adding that blue green. And if I hover over this anchor, notice how there's now two big old areas of red. And if I change the settings on this, let's say I wanted that person to be kind of more, uh, I want the tint to be more in that pink side with yellow. Notice how it changes both of them. That's because they're both keyed to that same anchor. So what I needed to do, and I'm going to undo those so that one is removed, I needed to come up to here, and I needed to press Create a New Selection. So now, when I try to add the warmth of yellow and, um, uh, and violet to it, and I size up my brush some, bring that feather down just a little bit, and I try to paint over this person, I can make this person more orange so that it doesn't affect the other areas. And it's always a good idea to double check, see what areas are covered. Looks like I got a little bit of overflow here and here, so I'll switch over to the eraser. Make sure that you're editing from the same spot, because we can see that I'm editing from only this one and not this one. It's not erasing anything on that figure. And so we can build up effects. Maybe I want to make the neck a little bit darker, or a little bit darker right here. But make sure that you always add in a new section. And I'm going to reset those. And this time I'm going to add in 
have your shadows. I drew that in. I'm going to drop the shadows down a little bit more. And I'm going to drop the exposure down so that we can darken the face. Maybe that's a little bit too much, but we can see uh, how we're building up our different areas and brushing in specific edits to specific areas using the brush tool.